They're in the gate. And they're off in the La Cañada. Coffee in bed, here's musical mischief and Midnight Memories with that natural speed sprints by them to take the lead. Midnight Memories, musical mischief will be prominent in the opening furlongs and musical mischief on even terms with Midnight Memories takes the lead now. Coffee in bed tucked in third, followed by Desert Dawn fourth, three lengths off the lead and Signorina Marisi is at the back. Three lengths covers them, six furlongs to run, musical mischief narrowly in front. With Midnight Memories a half length back in second. Coffee in bed between horses, Desert Dawn is three deep, and Signorina Marisi on the fence, past the 5 8 pole. It's musical mischief leading the way by a half a length. Midnight Memories in Juan Hernandez second. A length and a half back to that same lineup of three. Signorina Marisi at the rail, coffee in bed between them, and Desert Dawn in the blue. Heading to the 3 8 pole, Musical Mischief has been there throughout, but Midnight Memories is right to her, and now there goes Desert Dawn. The new leader, Midnight Memories, 5 16 out. Desert Dawn coming to her on the outside. Musical Mischief at the rail, trying to stay with them. Coffee in bed is fourth, which has two to make up. Desert Dawn sprints up on the outside of Midnight Memories. And these two come to the eighth pole with Coffee in bed in hot pursuit in the center of the track. Desert Dawn puts away Midnight Memories. Coffee in bed rallies into second. It's Desert Dawn and Flavian Pratt in a superb performance, winning the last. Cañada by a length and a half. Coffee in bed lost nothing in defeat. Midnight Memories was third. Sleeves Glory. Owned by H&E Ranch. Trained by Phil D'Amato and ridden by Flavian Pratt. That's his second winner on the day. Desert Dawn was bred in Arizona by H&E Ranch, her owner. Running time, 144.05 seconds. the winner's circle to make the trophy presentation to the connections of Desert Dawn. Winner of the grade three La Cañada Stakes is James Kasparov, Santa Anita Park Stakes Coordinator. Millie Ball standing by in the winner's circle. Well, the grade three La Cañada goes to Desert Dawn. I have her trainer, Phil D'Amato, here. And Phil, watching her coming down the stretch with Midnight Memories next to her, it looked like we were going to see the same type of performance uh, in the stretch in the Bay of Coa. What made the difference in your filly today? I think just just being a smidge more patient. You know, uh, we, we, Hector gave us great rides with this filly, especially in the Breeders' Cup. Um, and that stretch at Los Al is very long. But I, I just made it a point to tell Flavian, you know, just wait a smidge longer than you normally would. And she was dragging him out of the saddle on the backside, and, and, he, and he timed it perfectly. Rather slower fractions today than she's seen from quite some time as well. Do you think that might have helped her out? Yeah, I mean, I, she was definitely right in striking, uh, you know, distance right there at the quarter pole and kind of was ready to tackle him. And, and you know, when she, when she did, Flavian angled her out, kept her momentum going and uh, just had enough to hold off uh, Richard's horse. And it was great that Eleanor and Holly were here today to see this. Yeah, uh, they've... Uh, they've been great supporters of mine, you know, and, and uh, very patient with this mayor. I'm lucky we get to campaign her one more year. She's one of the barn favorites, my wife's favorite. She gallops her every morning and, and just a total family affair. Congratulations. Enjoy the victory. Thank you. Phil D'Amato and Desert Dawn winning the grade three La Cañada on this rainy Saturday afternoon at Santa Anita.